Well, one week after the school shooting in Noblesville, students are finishing up the year today. Yeah, so team building exercises and counseling will continue there today at Noblesville West Middle School. Our Alyssa Raymond is live for us in Noblesville this morning. And Alyssa, the district really preparing to help these students well after this last bell rings this afternoon. Yeah, Ben, that's absolutely correct. They're going to have counseling all summer long. They're also planning a public safety forum this summer. As for what happened one week ago, let's take a look at this message that the district sent out to parents. They also shared it with us. In it, they said they're still investigating what happened, and they'll be taking a close look at their safety protocols. But their initial review shows that administrators, teachers, and students did follow the safety procedures that are practiced regularly. The school district also acknowledged the tremendous support from the community. You know, thousands of dollars have already been raised for both Jason Seaman and Ella Whistler, the teacher and student injured in last Friday's shooting. There are GoFundMe pages, one for Jason and two for Ella. We did confirm the legitimacy of all three of these. You can also give directly to the school. That's the Noblesville Schools Education Foundation. WFMS also started Ella aid. You can join them with their lemonade stand from 10 until noon tomorrow. That's at the tractor supply on East Pleasant Street and Noblesville. Oh, and you can also still get one of these t-shirts. The deadline for the sales for these was supposed to be today, but they extended it until Sunday. We do have a link directly to how you can order these on our website, WTHR.com. One more time, the last day of schools for Noblesville is today. Noblesville West is on a two-hour delay. So they'll be starting at 935. And again, it's supposed to be such a very happy time, the kickoff to summer. Unfortunately, Ella won't be here for the last day of school because she is still in the hospital. But the good news there is that she's doing better. We're told that she is stable now. Back to you guys. All right. Yeah, that is probably the best news out of it all. They're glad she's going to be okay eventually. And again, want to show you where you can find that list of all the fundraising efforts that are going on right now at WTHR.com slash Noblesville shooting. You'll also see all of our stories, videos, and blogs from Bob Kravitz about having these tough conversations with our kids.